kind of a, a tough first quarter for the defense. Did you guys see the objectives just in here since you some adjustments? Did you guys see the rebound after that first quarter? Just talk about the, the changes there and the things that affected the final three quarters. Um, I think in the first quarter, we just didn't come out ready like we thought we were. And we let them get a couple of things they shouldn't have got. Then the rest of the game, we kind of just locked in and played mostly how we play. But we got to start off good and finish better. Jared, did, did, did the environment and all that stuff, the crowd noise, the first game on the road, did that maybe get the best of you, you guys at the start a little bit? No, not at all. I mean, uh, I think our environment back at Louisville is Louder. <laughs> Better than that one. Louder. 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 I don't think it really played a part because, I mean, we, we play in a big environment every week at Louisville, so it's really not nothing different. They wasn't really that loud, but I think it was just on us, and we needed to be more detailed and just play better. Do. I mean, stopping the run, that's every week, that's just our emphasis. So, I mean, we just started calling a couple of different plays. We we got the iPads on the sidelines so we can see stuff right when it happens. We just changed a couple of things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Jared, this is one, but do you, do you feel like you guys still have everything that you guys want to accomplish in front of you? Yeah. It's just one game. We still got a whole season ahead of us. This doesn't. It's a little minor setback, but we're gonna come in tomorrow, fix that stuff, and then move on to the next game. Uh, we can learn a lot from the game. We're gonna learn a lot. We're gonna get in the film room. We're gonna watch everything, and then we're gonna get on the field and we're gonna fix our mistakes. Um. I think I just think we need to be more detailed. I think we need to play more as a team, trust each other, and just do what I know we can do. And then we we should never lose a game. Coming out of this with all the mistakes that you all had, and still being in a position to you know tie it in the last minute, that carries up to the board. Yep. I mean we're we uh our first time facing adversity was was last week, so. We, we learned a lot about ourselves last week, and then coming into this week, we kind of knew who we were as a team. We knew that we weren't just going to lay down. So we knew that we were going to fight all four quarters, and it just we came on short. I guess not too many weeks, but when you have a leader like Casey Rowe, who hasn't missed a game since he's been here, um, how much does that affect him in terms of just his leadership and what he's doing? Uh, Quincy, he was still on the sideline, leading and talking to people. But I mean, when somebody gets hurt, it's just next man up, and it can't be any drop off. So I don't know Quincy's a NFL level talent, but when he's out, somebody got to come in and do the same thing he can do. Did, uh, was, was Notre Dame really things that they weren't expecting to see? No, we expected exactly what they did. It was just pretty much we just need to be more detailed and just execute better, but we, we pretty much knew what they are going to do, run with the QB, try to run the ball. We knew that's what they was going to do, but we just got to stop it better.